Alright and welcome to DPS Setups, the mini series aimed at getting you into tip top shape for the final shape. Before we get into the true power of this DPS setup first, it's important for you to know how Blade Barrage works so that you can maximise its potential. It's still incredibly potent for DPS thanks to its one and done playstyle and how ridiculously easy it is to use. On casting the super you release 2 fans of 7 knives, however by equipping the knock em down aspect you'll get an additional 3 knives per fan which significantly increases its damage output. You obviously need to make sure every single knife hits the target and there's actually 2 super important things you need to do with blade barrage. First, make sure you equip the ember of beams fragment. This gives your solar super projectiles stronger target acquisition, second and arguably the most important is direct your blade barrage in the opposite direction once you cast it. Now I know that this sounds silly on paper, but what I mean by this is that once you're in the cast animation, you just need to pull your mouse or controller in the opposite direction. This along with beams will give you really strong target tracking and enable you to land all of your knives on your target for maximum damage. Now we've got all the technical stuff out of the way, Star Eater Scales isn't an exotic you hear about often, unless you're a long time viewer of my channel then you'll know how much I love it. But these fit like a glove with Blade Barrage, which which is ironic because they're actually pants. Collecting orbs of power when your super is full, you'll get stacks of Feast of Light. 4 orbs are all you need to get the maximum 4 times stacks here and this will dramatically improve your super damage by 70%. Parasite though is the way this one all rounds out and comes together. Kills from other weapons grant stacks of Worm's Hunger which maxes out at a 20 times stack and will boost its single shot damage by 200%. With it being a solar weapon you'll want to add in 3 times solar weapon surge mods for 22% extra damage and also become radiant from acrobats dodge for 25% extra damage if you haven't got a friendly resident warlock for a well of radiance. I like to put in a scatter signal with envious assassin and control burst into this setup but also eremite or the royal executioner can do bits here too. A strong dps primary like a well rolled warden's law can work here too and I consider a solar weapon holster mod to auto reload parasite. So basically the dps setup goes like this. Preload the build with orbs of power to stack feasts of light and kills to max out worms hunger for parasite. Trigger radiant if required with your acrobats dodge and then unload your blade barrage into the mush of whatever is in your way. Swap to parasite and unload your massive worm all over your target and then switch to your overloaded god roll fusion of choice and unload it. By now your parasite is reloaded so whip out your worm and go again. Swap to your dps primary of choice unload and then whip out your worm for a final time and keep going until you've got nothing more to give or the dps phase ends whichever comes first. If you're lucky and in the trenches for dps with this one you may even trigger worms byproduct from parasite splash damage which will add a stacking 15% damage boost to all of your other weapons for 10 seconds. With a well, surges and a debuff this setup will get you a ton of damage on a boss and you'll start to be the envy of all good fire teams and some bad ones too. That's all we've got for this one but check out this next video for the most iconic builds in destiny 2.